You don't like Vegemite, love? How dare you, Jessica? How dare you? You're just being contrarian. You're just, you're just, you're just, you're just trying to you're provoke me. You said adobo is not nice, so I say Vegemite is not nice. Bad about adobo, I can talk bad about Vegemite. If you could talk bad about adobo, I could talk bad about Vegemite. Really, love? Is it the same? Vegemite is a lot worse than. One is a gift from God, right? And one's just chicken and vinegar, so relax. Adobo. Check it out, bro. He's got the hat and the full Filipino. He shows the stomach. Why do they show the stomach in the Philippines, it's love? Uh, why don't they take their shirts off? Here's something about the Philippines, right? Say you're poor here, you you can just pick coconuts and fish, mate. Like you got coconuts and fish, what do you, what do you need? You need a bit of rice, right? So coconuts, fish and rice, you could survive here. Like if there was an apocalypse, you know, like uh, like the you know the world got wiped out and the world kind of stuff, and there was no population anymore, you were like only a few of you left, this would be a good place to be. Because you can just pick coconuts off the trees, you can just mangoes. fish, mangoes, coconuts. Like, it's just, there's a lot to eat here. You know, you can just, you can just, let's just walk around and just eat, mate. You can just walk around and pick fruit off trees. It's crazy. Yeah. It's kind of cool as well. That's what you do when you were young, right? You just pick fruit off trees when you're hungry. Taking food from your grandpa, right? Like your grandpa had a farm, you're his grandkid, you know, like what's he gonna do, mate? You, you're gonna take food from your grandpa, right? Your grandpa is not. Your grandpa sounds like a bit of a, uh, you know, yeah. yeah. See you next Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. She's gonna like that. You got chased with a knife for stealing fruit, right? Who chased you with a knife? Grandpa. Grandpa chased you with a knife? He was like not touching me. He was standing on his porch and he was screaming. He was holding a knife. I think he was doing something. Was he waving at you or not? Get out! <laughs> <laughs> you can Jessica, get out! Jessica was always stealing like fruit from the farm. Oh, that's crazy. Check it out. Is this where you go? Okay, bro. Day. She wants a peaceful day. Yeah, that's pretty good beer. How much cost? We should check how much cost to stay there. We should check how much cost to stay there. Yeah, let's Google it. Bro, it's a pretty impressive view. Now, call this uh, channel the Predator and the Barbell Nomad. Check out the guy. Because Jess drives like a Predator. She's like a Predator. You know, you know what I mean? She's just stuck around. Relax, man. Relax. I thought she's stalking people, bro. She's stalking people. You're afraid, my mate. Yeah, I'm pretty You're afraid. You're afraid, my man. I'm pretty afraid. Then you should take the one for me then. Yeah, I'd rather film it, love. As we have got Fiesta coming up. I think Fiesta's celebrating the day of that local saint. It's called it's, Baturitas. It's called what? Baturitas. What does it mean, love? Saints? No, those things are called banderitas. Oh, 
Now these go banderitas. 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 Does that well? Banderitas. Check it out, bro. Fishing bar. That's really how I expect the Philippines to be. A bit more like, you know, on the water and blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Why do you talk funny? I don't talk funny. You did talk funny. I don't talk like you, like a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Like, like I'm from America. We are colonized by the America. What do you expect? You think if we're colonized by Australia, we're not going to speak like you? Well, you hear that guy, that's all. But we, Australia doesn't traditionally colonize anyone. We are a colony, so we can't colonize anyone because we're a colony ourselves. So, yeah. Then you're a colony colonizer. I'm a, well, we, Australia doesn't colonize anyone, bro. So relax with the colonizer talk. They were like in Kenya, mate. They were going, oh, colonizer, colonizer. I was like, there's relax, bro. There's nothing to adapt there. And in India, they were like, they were going off about the colonizer. Not I was like, didn't we give you some good roads, a judicial not, system? Relax, bro. There's nothing good to adapt in Australia. All right. Root, purple. Butter pie. Vegemite, bro. Vegemite. Who wants to adopt that? I don't know if you guys have ever tried Vegemite, but it's awesome. But it's awesome. I want to adopt that. But it's awesome. I have to say, the Filipinos are lovely people, mate. They're so sweet. Especially around here, they don't try and shaft foreigners. They, it's just such a nice experience, right? If that was chicken, if that was chicken, you fully alpha that guy, love. He, he wound up in the ditch, mate. You wound up driving off. You know, going, going sightseeing. You know what I mean? Like you fully alpha him, love. You fully alpha him when you ran that guy off the road. You alpha him, love. Like a game of chicken. He ran on the. Ditch. It was like Footloose when you know they played chicken in Footloose. Have you guys seen Footloose? Where they play chicken in the tractors. Oh, the, this is where he was. That's it. It's the guy. Check me. That's deep as well, love. You gotta yeah, be careful. I know you gotta check me. Slow stuff. Whoa, it's deep up. Do, do not go off the side. Whoa! He fell. He fell. He fell. He fell. He fell. He, he tipped in. Oh, uh, let's go help him. Let's go help him. Stop. Stop. Yeah, stop. I'll, I'll have to stop here. He fell. Sorry. See, look at the look at the, the things he fell into the gully. That's where he, he fell down. Well, at least he's gone now. Mate, the government needs to sort that shit out, bro. That's yeah, terrible. Yeah, it's dangerous as well during the night. If people are walking, it's super dangerous. It's yeah, very dangerous. Let's go, let's go. Okie-dokie, okie-dokie, karaoke. Give him a little bit. Courtesy beat, bro. Courtesy beat. Fresh farm eggs inquire here. Let's go to the mountains, bro. What does Baraka mean, love? Baraka means like you're an alpha. That's why we, it's called a... Uh, Baraka. Yeah, Baraka is like you're an alpha, you're like a man, man. Baraka. Yeah. Baraka. How do you spell it? Baraka. B-A-R-A-K-O. Baraka. That's what you call our coffee, the Batangas coffee. Kapeng Baraka. It means like a, like a, you know, like a alpha coffee, something like that. Baraka. I like that. Baraka. Baraka. When they say you're Baraka, it means you're very manly. Like this, they use that with girls, like the Tengen and girls. They said they're very Baraka. Baraka. Very man, like kind of manly man. So oh, Baraka. Like, that's a very good um, compliment. If someone said you're Baraka, it means you're alpha. Spelled B A R A K O. Baraka. Baraka. Okay. Guys, 
course, please subscribe, share if you like, and hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.